Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Kia Rio facelift 2023 and in this video I want to show you the new multimedia system and yeah, let me go there to show you. First of all, I want to show you also the cockpit a little bit. This is kind of the same oldish cockpit that Kia and also Hyundai use it on some of their cars but it's very easy to use because here on the steering wheel you have the controller so from here you can control different function and settings right there and I will show you right now we will go through all the settings so first of all you can see also the speed right now in the middle there it's the speed but you can also change the right side and you can see the consumption there is the consumption it's a brand new car so it doesn't have so such a long trips to see the consumption yet here you can see also the adaptive cruise control the tension level and all that information and then you have all the settings that you can change from here from the cockpit for example the driver assistance system uh, here we have the warning timing we have the driver uh, attention we have the emergency brake the lane uh, safety and all that settings you can also activate and deactivate from here we have the lights for example from here you can activate and deactivate different lights we have the doors uh, locks we have the convenience here and service interval here you can see enable the service interval as well or disable the team selection from here you can select the different teams and you have the other features right there um, that I let me go back to other features because I want to show you also that other features here we have like fuel economy auto reset we have the speed meter units we have the fuel economy units we have the temperature units and let me go out language you can change it from here and you can reset everything from zero so this is all and in general it's very simple nothing crazy nothing complicated on the left side you can see right here you have the rpm and on the right side we have the speedometer and also the the gas down there so in general it's quite quite simple now let's go to the multimedia the multimedia here in the center console look gorgeous the way they integrate it right there in the dashboard look fabulous and if we go a little bit closer uh, to show you right now it still have this protection on the glass so when i play with my finger it's a little bit un uh, uh, slideable i should say because it works a little bit hard but i know it and i know how responsive it is i mean this new navigation system that kia use it's gorgeous it's the same one as hyundai use it and it's very good so for example if you want to choose a destination all you have to do is just press set the destination and you will see how fast it's loading and if you you can choose also different directions from here and once you set it start guidance and it will start and, and it's it's gorgeous and it's very fast and it gives you all the information that you need so in terms of navigation system it's very good you can cancel the route from here very simple just like that and also you can uh, choose different uh, information the navigation sound from here and also you have the menu if you want to go a little bit deeper into the navigation menu you can do it from here uh, also you can search for different directions and also um, you can go in the home if you go here to the home screen this is the home screen of the multimedia so from here you can see how it looks and all the settings of the car are here so you have the manual you have it directly on the multimedia is no more on the paper you have the notice you have kia alive the media and radio if you go to the media you will see that we have right here also those sounds of nature that they come also on um, the other versions and they are super cool if you want to chill out and uh, relax a little bit you can turn on those music from here very simple just like that if we go back uh, if we go back on the second page you can see we have the settings and here on the settings we have all the settings of the car even the general settings that you can change different information like system information memory manual and modem information we have date and time we have language here we have the keyboards units we have also the media settings from here you can change also different settings and default uh, default you can get everything back to normal then we go back and here we have also a few settings like phone connectivity you can connect your phone here we have also the display settings from here you can change different information on the display you have even the blue filter on the display and extend rear camera uses you can do it from here and also 
uh, close it. Also, another important thing is the team layout. From here, you can change the team layout as well, digital clock or wherever you want to uh, show you there in the front uh, view. Then we have the sound settings. From here, you can change and adjust different sound settings driver assistance settings and also connect device settings and on the connect device we have also android and apple carplay that you can connect it with this multimedia system but you have to use a cable i have a separate video on my channel on how to connect it with this new multimedia system from kia and if you want to see it check it out it's already on the channel so it's very very simple so you can see where was that if we go back to the here phone projection you will see that it's tell you you can connect your apple and android but with cable so you have to use a cable other than that the car comes also with valid mode kia connect um, and also the telephone information the map information and the map is right here so in general this is the the, the screen guys nothing crazy nothing special it's simple and you have also some shortcut buttons down here like navigation you have the media you have the setup that gets you directly to the setup if you go to media you will see that you can connect also your usb to see videos usb to hear music and android and apple carplay so yeah i guess this is everything if you have question ask me down below wherever you want to ask uh, i hope i cover everything but i know some of you sometimes may have other questions so ask me down below today it's crazy hot outside and here in the car it's like sauna so i have free sauna today at filming cars but yeah that was the video that's life guys i hope you enjoy it if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to see the full review with this new kia rio uh, check out next days probably the video it's already on the channel if it's not click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out also if you want to see the test drive the same story thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys